Okay, perfect. So we carry on in our interview, and in this section, I would like to ask you about what kind of support students get once they study. It's not just you going to lectures, but maybe you need to find a job. Mm -hmm. Is school is helping with finding a job or improving your CV? Or are they doing the mock interviews, like one to one? How to prepare yourself for the interview in England? Yeah. yeah are they doing something? Yeah, yeah. So first of all. Um, Coming back to the accommodation question, so you know you find your first year, you got your accommodation on campus, and then you want to move to a house, and how to find that house? There is a company called Sullets, which basically helps you find the house, um, gives you options where you can go, and then you can go and visit the actual house with your housemates, see how it looks like, pick and choose. That's it. Basically, it, it just helps you get with all the bills and everything mm -hmm. and you can call them and ask questions and so on right. you know cause which is quite handy it's quite yeah. handy because you know when you come in and you start living on your own you're kind of going oh my god I don't know how this works even from the point of law or leg legislation they can check on your contract if it's not yeah. scam if it is everything included what it should be yeah. from legal stand of mm -hmm. view perfect do you have any other support for example uh, when you're applying for the job, yes. are they helping you? Is there some job center? Or? Yes, so yeah? it's called UNITAPS. It's uh -huh. actually uh, in our student union building next to the Sillets office. Mm -hmm. There's the UNITAPS office, mm -hmm. which is basically students, um, they advertise jobs and job opportunities for uh, students, sometimes mm -hmm. on campus, sometimes off campus. So you can work for the school yeah. also. Yeah, so for example, in some years it would be like you could be part of the security sometimes on some really? evenings, sometimes like you can, a great way of so getting a job. you used to be a security, No, right? I no. used to be a student ambassador. Mm -hmm. So this means that, for example, when we have open days, if you know about those, you know, mm -hmm. people can yeah. come in yeah. and check out. <laughs> so uh, on open days uh -huh. you can give tours and you get paid for it. So you can direct people to certain areas, you can show around, you can show around the sports center or something, and you can get paid for it. And these uh, open days happen constantly, so you know, if, if you do that, because, you know, when you're a student, these opportunities are usually not consistent, so if you do want to find a job uh, outside of university, you'd probably have to also ask Unitems, you know, how to set up my CV, what options I can get, and so on, so they would help you with that. Yeah. which is quite like extra service it looks like very student focused mm -hmm. environment right That's they right. don't leave you on your own like go find your job find your accommodation they are open to yeah. to help you but you just need to go to those services to ask sure. yeah uh, also another thing that's really great um, is for example if you want to do a year of uh, practical year mm -hmm. we they call it a placement or a sandwich mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. um, in Europe so what you do is you go to a special office, uh, which is a placement and exchange office, uh, like an Erasmus, and they help you find the countries that you can visit and where you can go, where to apply, how to apply. There's a special office for that as well. And also there's a special office which could help you with the... Um, so if you have any disabilities, you have mm -hmm. dyslexia or some kind of ADHD, there's also an office that can help you with that. For example, if you need a special way to read things or, right. you know, specially made presentations mm -hmm. that you could read, there's also help with that. Okay, when we're speaking about all those things, how you can help students or, or su give support to students, you have a system of uh, maybe scholarships? So, uh, for EU European students, mm -hmm. uh, scholarships don't really apply. All right. We do have something called the EU Love Bundle, which usually starts around summerish, start of summertime. Summerish? Uh, yeah. So yeah, around May, June, they start saying that you might, if you apply here, you can get like a little discount on the gym. Mm -hmm. You can get uh, maybe a pickup from the airport or something. Yeah. So keep your right. eye on, out but on that. I just remember the good thing about DMU. You have this program called DMU Global. Yes. Which is. Uh, good selling point, not the scholarships, but your university offers students quite for cheap money or just little money to travel the world? That's right. It's not just traveling though, it's also, for example, if you travel with your course, you can do course-based activities, you can also do an exchange program with the MU Global, uh, for example, 
you can go to either America or around Europe uh, to do a year with other, you know, in another six, yeah. country's school. Mm -hmm. uh, also a placement here in a company or something. And as well with the AMU Global can teach you one language a year if you're interested right. in learning Spanish, Arabic, Japanese, Chinese, Mandarin, um, or other, there's I think about six, seven languages that you can learn um, if you are interested in that. Mm -hmm. they, they have every year they have courses actually this is very important guys if you want to know more about dmu global it is called dmu global hashtag on instagram you can find the pictures i think on so instagram, facebook yeah. dmu global is the thing right yeah yeah 